Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a transparent paint job on this uh, Telecaster body with the natural wood top here. So we'll get straight into the painting. I'm using a transparent acrylic to do this. Uh, and I'm just starting off with a base of blue as you can see. I'm, I'm kind of testing out a couple paint jobs at once here. So with this automotive acrylic you can dry it really quickly because it's water based. You just use a heat gun uh, and dry it. I, I probably wait two, three minutes between coats at most, um, just for it to dry, and then I go in and spray in another light coat. So I'm going to do probably three coats on this guy to get the desired effect. Right now it's looking a little light, a little bit teal because of that brown tint underneath it from the wood. And then uh, from there, I mean, the more you add with these transparents, the darker it gets. It just keeps getting darker. It's It's pretty straightforward like that. So what I'm doing here is adding a vignette around the outside, kind of a burst effect. It is the same color, but like I said, as you build them up, it just gets darker and darker. Um, so as that goes on thicker, it gets a, I think I might add added a drop or two of purple in here, but really it's essentially the same color and it's just going on darker because I've added another layer. So I've got the, uh, the nozzle dialed in real tight right here. So here's what it looks like just with the vignette. If I put a clear coat over it right now, you'd be able to see the grain better. And that's kind of a cool paint job in and of itself. Um, but I decided to experiment with this a little bit. I might have taken it a little far, but I said, why not? You know, I might as well go in and see if I can do something with the airbrush. So I've got, uh, again, that slightly darker mix, but essentially the same color. And I'm going in and basically doing a scale pattern on here just to see how it looks see if I can give it some depth with this transparent paint. So as you can see, I'm just freehanding it. I'm doing it pretty large. It's, you know, it's maybe not your thing. It's kind of silly, I will admit. I just fast forwarded through some of it there, but I went in and put in the outlines of the scales. And then uh, once that's done, I'm just gonna go in real quick. You'll see me in a few seconds here, start to shade in the bottoms of them to try and give them some dimension. It can be tough to uh, put dimension in with these like transparent candy style paints just because there's no way to pull highlights. It's only shadows that you can do with these, but it's still possible. And by putting in the shadow on the bottom part, I'm kind of giving it a look like there's a light source from up top. So hopefully you guys thought this was cool. Uh, you get this to pop a little better by putting a little bit of clear on it. So you can see here I've put a couple coats of lacquer just so you kind of get the idea. You can still see the green through it and everything. And you know, I'm, I'm not sure that the scales probably aren't for everyone, but I think it turned out okay. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.